collaborative robotics we might even call the holy grail of robotics right now. It's one of the most challenging environments to get these robots to operate around people and to do useful things in unstructured environments. One of the most challenging collaborative domains is the kitchen environment right now. So we've chosen that as a test bed so we can develop a lot of these technologies, study the system in this space, and take a lot of what we learn and apply them across the board to these collaborative domains. Many academic institutes have been studying a lot of these problems in isolation, these areas of detection and tracking and motion generation. But for a real-world robotic system, all of these things need to communicate with each other and do so fluently in order to make an impact in the real world. So we're bringing together experts from all of these areas, along with software engineers and the resources of NVIDIA to build a system and study the system at the system's level. On the perception side, we're using a technique we call POSE-CNN, which was developed both here and at the University of Washington, which is a deep learning technique for taking the image of the area in front of the robot and detecting where objects are in that space. And then that information is fed to a technique we call dense articulated real-time tracking, which is an optimization-based tracker developed at the University of Washington, which gives us continuous perceptual feedback of where those objects are at any moment in time. And that information is fed then to the motion generation layer, which uses a system we call Riemannian motion policies, which is able to get the robot to generate real-time, fast, reactive, adaptive, and human-like motion in these collaborative spaces. One of the things that's great about Riemannian motion policies is that when it detects obstacles or, or movements of obstacles, it just has to bend the existing behavior. We're developing this system as a model of what other groups can use, and we intend to share this with the broader research community so they can build their own research on top of it.